Hello everyone, and thanks for taking some time to learn a little bit about Atlassian's JIRA app for Microsoft Teams. My name is Will Howard McKinney, and my team here at Atlassian specializes in knowing our products inside and out, so we can help you best determine which Atlassian products are the right fit for your organization. And I'm excited to talk to you about some of the features that this app has to offer to your Teams instance to stay on top of what's happening in JIRA. In this short video, we'll go over some of the steps to get the app set up and learn about some of the key features that will help you stay on top of things and move your work along. So here we are in my instance of Teams. Now to add the app, we just need to do a quick search in the app section here and search for Jira. Here it is right here, Jira Cloud. And we'll click on this and from here you do have the option to add the app directly to a team, to a chat, or to a meeting right from the install window. But we can also do this later and we're going to take a look at how to do that in a little bit. So for now we'll just click add. And once the app is installed, we just need to sign in. Just go ahead and click on my Atlassian ID here and close this out once the authentication succeeds and it will turn on all of these notifications for you by default. Now you can see here that we'll be notified directly in Teams when issues that we've reported receive any comments or have some activity, like a status change, for example. We'll also get notifications for issues that we are signed to and any time that we're mentioned. Now there are a few other options we can toggle on as well for issues that we're watching, so let's click into here and enable those. Now this is an important feature as well. For those of us who work in multiple different JIRA sites, you can pick and choose which of the sites will trigger these notifications. Back in the app now, if you click down here into the chat box, this list of commands will pop up showing some of the actions you can take using the app. If you need to return to the notification settings, you can simply click here, send that chat to the app, and here we are right back in this window that we just saw. So we can edit the types of notifications we'll get as well as add and remove JIRA sites when we install the app, but also at any time later. Let's switch over to the connected JIRA cloud instance and make an update there so we can see how this displays in Teams. Now you can see that I am assigned to this issue and I am logged in as a different user in JIRA because your own actions won't trigger these notifications for the JIRA app for Teams to avoid notification spam from your own actions. So we'll just make a quick change here. Let's just move it into a new status and we should see a notification from JIRA right here in Teams letting us know exactly what happened. Now not only do we get alerted, but we can also take several actions on this issue right here in the Teams interface without having to switch into JIRA. I can comment on the issue here if I have anything to contribute, and I can also click on edit issue to see a host of options like changing the status, I can add new labels to the issue, um, and if I need to, I can open the issue directly in JIRA from here as well. Now since we didn't add the app to any Teams when we initially set it up, let's go ahead and do that next. So we'll go into Teams, and then select any one of these here, we'll just stay on this general team. Click this plus sign, and then find the app. We'll choose the site we want, then an issue filter, and we can display these issues directly in our team tab. You can sort these filtered results using any of these columns at the top and look at issues by assignee, by create a date, any of these options to help parse these issues properly. There's also a search bar up here to help you isolate issues even further. So this is handy to display any issue filter that's relevant to this team's work. You can add multiple tabs, each with a different filter, to display things like entire epics, items due this week, items past due, anything you can filter for in JIRA, you can display here. Now adding the JIRA app to your chats is also helpful. So we can visit a chat and go through a similar process to add filters to a chat as well. We just click on the chat we want to add it to, click that same plus sign, and click on the app name again. From here, it'll take you through similar prompts to add an issue filter to a chat. Now, lastly, adding the JIRA app to a calendar event in Teams can help keep relevant issues front and center for your meetings. So we'll just set up a quick meeting here. I'll go ahead and add a title, and then I'll add one of my colleagues here so we can get this sent out. All right, send this off, and then click back into it and we'll go through a familiar process by clicking this plus sign, selecting the app, adding it, and selecting the site. Now from here we'll see these pre-built filters for issues that I've worked on, issues that I've viewed, and issues that I'm assigned to. 
And if we click an issue, it will display in this panel and make that issue visible to the meeting participants so folks will know what issue is relevant to that meeting. You can also create new issues directly from JIRA in this app. Just look for this plus sign here. Now in Teams, it'll be right here. And if we click on it, we can go through these fields and create a JIRA issue directly from here. You can see we can choose the issue type. We can add a summary if we want to. We can choose priority, assignee, a whole host of options directly from Teams. Now one last option in chats, you can go ahead and click this JIRA icon down here. And then now I can share JIRA issues directly in my Teams chats as well. So the JIRA Cloud app for Teams puts a lot of relevant JIRA info right in front of you in the Teams interface, helping you communicate and avoid bouncing back and forth between applications as often, streamlining your work and streamlining your communication. With this app connecting JIRA to Teams, you'll be better able to stay on top of your mentions, on your issue activity, and reduce having to bounce back and forth between your various platforms to get the information that you need. Thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit about JIRA Cloud for Teams. Please give it a try and see how it can help you and your teams communicate and deliver. Thanks again, and have a great day.